Welcome. Today I am going to discuss how to decide system suitability parameters. This is one of the area where chromatographers do the mistake while finalizing the method. That is the reason I decided to share my skill based knowledge on this topic. I hope after this session, chromatographer will not repeat the same mistake. Let us start the session. In this session, you will learn what are the different system suitability parameters, what is the procedure for determining system suitability parameter for different test methods, can one SST parameter is enough for the method, what should be the SST evaluation criteria. System suitability test parameters or SST parameter the SST tells whether the chromatographic conditions, for example, column, mobile phase, system are suitable for the intended analysis or not. If SST pass, then analysis is started. If it fails, then correction is made. After that, analysis is started. SST is the integral part of all the method. In any method, at least two SST parameters must be kept. One of them is resolution. System suitability parameters are capacity factor, resolution, theoretical plate, tailing factor, DL, QL, or sensitivity solution precision. Retention time that is RT and relative retention time are not part of the system stability parameter. Definition of SST parameters, column efficiency, it tells about the narrowness of the peak and it is calculated by this formula. If column efficiency is high, it means peak will be sharp and in single run several peaks can be separated and if column efficiency is low it means peak will be broad and column will not be able to separate multiple peaks Resolution tells about the separation between two peaks, two closest peaks. Tailing factor tells about tailing and fronting of the peak. If tailing will be high, means there will be chances of merging of unknown or known peak at the tail. Capacity factor K, it is a relative location of a peak with respect to wide volume peak. Its value is always kept not less than 2. RRT is the relative retention time of an impurity or any component with respect to mean analyte peak. SST evaluation criteria, RTs and RRTs, RTs and RRTs of all components must be mentioned in the method. If there is any variation in RTs, means either there is a problem with the mobile page or with the system and hence same problem must be rectified and then analysis should be started. DL is the part of the method as well as system suitability test parameter when an impurity is controlled at DL level means limit is that impurity should not be detected especially for nitrosoamine test. DL is not part of the system suitability test for related substance test 
but it is part of the method because any impurity more than or equal to dl is being integrated in related substance test sst evaluation criteria for dl is is by n ratio should be greater than or equal to 3 ql ql is the integral part of the system suitability uh, criteria for related substance and content test because all the impurities which value is at QL level or more than that are being integrated and reported. SST evaluation criteria is S by N ratio is greater than or equal to 10. Resolution is the integral part of all the method, whether it is essay or input profile or content analysis test. R is kept between two close eluting peak. R should not be kept the peak which are eluting far apart. R can be kept between an analyte peak and an input peak or between an input peak and an allied peak or between two input peak. System evaluation criteria for R is that R should be greater than or equal to 2 on condition that there must be base to base separation between the two peaks. If there is not base to base separation in that case, R should be kept higher than that so that there should be base to base separation. In a special case, R can be kept less than 2 also with proper scientific justification, especially in case of isomeric separation, R is not achieved. In that case, R can be kept lesser than also. Theoretical plate. Limit of theoretical plate is kept for main analyte. Depending upon method requirement, it can be kept as a one of the SST parameters apart from resolution. Limit must be decided based on 10 data. For HPLC analysis, value of N are kept more than or equal to 5000. For GC analysis, value of N is kept more than or equal to 10,000 because in GC analysis, peaks are very sharp. Lower limit can be kept with proper justification. Tailing factor, tailing factor limit is also kept for the main peak. Depending upon method requirements, it can be kept as a one of the SST parameters apart from resolution. Limit must be decided based on 10 data. Generally, limit of telling factor is kept less than 1.5. But in certain cases, if this value is not achieved, higher limit can be kept. But on condition that peak must be pure and homogeneous. Precision is kept as a system suitability parameter when calculation is being performed using external standard method. For example, in case of AC content test and related substance test when impurities are calculated using external standard method. SST evaluation criteria is kept based on the RSD of area response of 6 injection. Before ending this session, I would like to introduce myself. I am Dr. Pramod. I have more than 30 years of experience in global and 
Indian Pharmaceutical Companies, I work for Teva Pharmaceuticals, Alembic Pharmaceutical, Intas Pharmaceuticals, Unicam, Ami Organics. I am founder of Pharma Knowledge Forum. I am on mission to train the pharma professional. I would like to invite you to join the Pharma Knowledge Forum. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.